Today, it took a jury less than 20 minutes to find a Gaston County man guilty of killing his girlfriend's three year old daughter. William McCullen will spend the rest of his life in prison without the possibility of parole after getting convicted of first degree murder for beating Jordan Dumont to death two years ago. NBC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner is live outside the courthouse. Brandon, despite the jury's quick decision here, this case is not over. It definitely isn't, Fred. Uh, William McCullen and his attorney will be appealing this to the North Carolina Court of Appeals. And from the beginning, this case has been an emotional flashpoint for the community, and those emotions were evident well through into closing arguments. That you are never going to forget. After hours of looking at graphic photos of Jordan Dumont's remains. And that's why I want this to be the last picture of Jordan. Gaston County Prosecutor Debbie Gulledge asked the jury and this tiny little three year old girl to remember so happy and full of life. This one photo. This child deserves justice. Do the right thing. Find him guilty of first degree murder. It took the jury less than 20 minutes to do just that. Guilty of first degree murder. McCullen's attorney, Brent Ratchford, tried to convince the jury to convict his client of second degree murder. It doesn't carry an automatic life sentence like first degree murder. He and McCullen made clear their legal fight will continue. I'd like to appeal the decision and the sentencing. Jordan's biological father, Josh Connett, wouldn't talk to us after the trial, but McCullen's sister, Crystal McCullen, did speak to us, describing her torn feelings about her little brother, now a convicted murderer. I really didn't want to believe that my brother was capable of anything like this, but I'm just really sorry to the family. It's just a tragedy for everybody involved. And another notable absence, Jaylene, uh, McCull excuse me, Jaylene Dumont, her, she is the biological mother of Jordan Dumont. Now, as for this whole appeal process, it could take months before we could actually see a decision from a panel of three judges based in Raleigh. Reporting live at the Cleveland County Courthouse, I'm Brandon Goldner, NBC Charlotte. A terrible, terrible case. Thank you, Brandon.